Morning poem. Also, undi popo verse. Now this is an odd kind of writing. Mortified, spooked by a rose, soiled in fecal rhymes, on a chest-stained bluff, bluffing, if the sun will not wake him, I will. Double dutching, with vultures of intestines, the one with the one eye that is just a flaming gobstopper stolen from your first disembodiment's erotic piñata. They disemboweled the P.S., Sob did I not upon hearing this? Claw out the price did I not upon giving this? As in, I have no time to read books, only recommend them. It all starts in my mouth, these recommendations. Poems, I mean. Which are merely the highest recommendations of the one who remained in the womb for all non-fic time. Americans will not be admitted, and that includes Iranians, and all the rest of immigrants who must work twice as hard as rest, swiftly making things to be given away, my best so easily for others. But I too am pleased in this. Don't be too sorry for me, or at least let me be the sorrier, with my glass eyes shattering in the outdoor shower, all summer a stained glass popsicle in my mouth while I sway in the hammock of my undies, stuffed with eagles, eglantine, marbles, turning in their veins, and divested of my most telling birthmarks that poems are, because I should, where no one can keep them, just as I must forget this long enough, as long as I must discover it. Her dew comb after lovemaking cannot be reached like her.